I'm with Luke Boyd. Luke, thank you so much for joining us. How have you managed to stay, stay safe during this time? I don't know. This has been crazy, but, um, you know, I got a gym in my basement, so I've been able to work out, you know. I don't know. We're doing projects around the house, um, you know, stuff that we don't have access. I get to use my, my deck for once during the summer or spring, summertime, which I usually don't have to have. But um, just trying to, you know, do stuff around the house that we didn't really get to do in the off season, and, you know, try to keep sane, I guess. One of the main things that health officials have been saying is stay inside, make sure you wash your hands a bunch of times throughout the day. Do you have a song you sing while you're washing your hands for 20 seconds? <laughs> oh man, I do not have a song I can sing. Man, that's a good, what song would I sing if I had for 20 seconds? Um, I'll, I'll do my walkout. How about country grammar? <laughs> that's the song that I had to do, so. You mentioned country grammar from St. Louis, obviously a Nelly fan. Will that be your walk-up song again when the season starts? Actually, no. Um, I've always done Nelly as my walk-up, obviously representing the Lou, but this year I'm going to do uh, Y2K and it's La La La. So I, I, I've seen it in a couple like Instagram videos and I thought it would be a sick walk-up. Now I see the number behind you. That's your brother's jersey, I'm assuming? Yeah. Yep, got my brother's jersey signs. So pretty cool. Very cool. Your new number with the New York Yankees. Did you tell him that you were switching to his number? What was his reaction when he found out you'd be wearing 59 now? Yeah. Um, you know, actually, it was, it was my wife's idea because um, we were kind of sitting on it after, you know, I had been in, knew that I had to switch. And uh, I was like, man, I don't know what number I'm going to be because, you know, I, eight was my number growing up because I like Calvert Coon Jr. And I was like, I can't be eight with the Yankees. So, um, I, we we just kept digging through numbers like oh this number this number and then finally she's like hey why don't you just do 59 and I was like holy cow how do we not think of that and then when I told him it was you know he was like dude that, that's 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 the coolest thing you could ever do for me so I, I was it was a pretty special moment that's pretty awesome as far as the training is concerned when did you decide to leave Tampa and head back home um we headed home last Thursday uh we got to that point where you know we were kind of hearing that this National Guard thing may come into a full effect. And, you know, our rent was coming up soon. So there was no point in like staying down there. Obviously, we have the facility down there and stuff. But I, I got in contact with my, uh, you know, my trainer back home and he was able to do some stuff for me. And then if I needed to go hit, I could go hit at my place. So it was kind of like get back home, you know, be safe, be with my family. And, you know, we, we ended up deciding on Thursday just because it was just the time and place. And, you know, we felt like, if we had to get home, you know, we knew the gas stations were still open. Obviously, they still are, but we just didn't want to be, you know, kind of get, you know, screwed over and have to stay in Tampa. What was the vibe when you were still training there and, and when you left the facility? Because I know some people were still there, but Marcus Timms had mentioned that when he's in there, he's wearing gloves when he's touching baseballs. It had to just be an odd vibe there. Yeah, it was the first time I was wearing, like, I was wearing batting gloves to, like, work out. It was weird. But um, I, it, it just wasn't right. I mean, the whole like we were trying to like stay apart from each other you know like there's only like like seven guys there when there should be over you know like almost 100 guys and that's including staff that you know there's no food anymore um you know i'm hoping everybody stays safe and you know obviously the social distancing and you know quarantine is like for real and everybody needs to stay inside and you know do their best so they can do to you know get this thing away from us that's certainly a great message, and hopefully everyone is at home practicing that. Now, how do you stay in touch with your teammates during this time? Do you still reach out to them, or are you still in contact? Yeah, we still uh, – we have our Madden League, so we got a big group chat going still. So we're in contact every day, and um, it's still fun. We're still managing to, you know, keep our spirits up, and hopefully we get this figured out. We're back on the diamond here soon. But all the boys are good. We're, you know, we're staying locked in, and uh, when time comes, we'll be ready to go. Is it difficult not knowing when the time is going to be? How are you training right now in the regard of, are you going full out like you would during spring training? Or have you dialed it back knowing that it could be a pretty significant amount of time until you're back on the baseball field? I, uh, yeah, so working out, I'm still doing like all my workouts and stuff. I'm trying to stay in shape as best as possible, but I'm, I, I kind of shut down hitting. Um, and like defensive stuff just for the time being, I'm, you know, I'm hoping that over the next like couple of weeks, kind of get some clarity and maybe a, 
you know, set time for when, you know, maybe summer training, I guess you could call it now, maybe possibility if that happens. Um, but um, so yeah, I'm just trying to keep my body in shape and I'm trying to keep my mind in shape, I guess, just trying to stay sane and, you know, being at home all the time. But um, that's all I, I mean, that's all I got pretty much. I'm going, going for a run with my dog today to try to keep her sane too. She's been stuck inside all the time too. So, but uh, yeah, hitting's done and feeling's done, just working out. How long do you think you guys will need in a new spring training, essentially, or summer training, as you said, to get yourself back in baseball shape once it does come to that? I don't think it's as much as a, a bigger thing for the, the hitters. I think the hitters just meeting like, you know, a couple weeks. But I think it's more for our pitchers and our starting pitchers to, you know, ramp up to get ready for those, you know, five or six innings, 100 pitches, um, and our bullpen guys to get some innings and stuff. But, you know, I, for a hitting standpoint, I can get all my stuff done you know, off, you know, machines in the cages and stuff like that. And, you know, obviously get like 20 at bats. And I, I and, you know, like, I think most guys probably felt ready to go, you know, kind of before we got shut down. Um, and, I, and I feel bad because there's a lot of guys that are having really good spring trainings and stuff that were trying to, you know, make the team. And, you know, I, obviously that just, you know, kind of just went bye-bye. But um, uh, it's just a, it's just a weird time. You know, I, who would ever thought this would ever happen, you know, and, I feel bad, you know, for a lot of people in this country right now, you know, small business owners and stuff like that. It's not fair. And, you know, hopefully uh, it gets turned around soon because, you know, there's a lot of people that are struggling right now. We're hoping that that is the case, both from an economic, a health, and, you know, a baseball standpoint as well. And that's certainly lower on the scale from the other two. You mentioned staying home, trying to keep yourself sane. What have you been doing? Have you been binge watching stuff? Have you been doing those chores that Tori put on the list? <laughs> uh, a little bit of both. Um, we have been binge watching. I feel like we've watched like eight movies. We watched a show called Lock and Key. It was pretty good. Um, it kind of had the uh, Stranger Things vibe, which is pretty good if you like Stranger Things. Um, but yeah, I... <laughs> I'm I'm waiting for this rain to go away. It's supposed to be nice this week. And, you know, of course, I'm used to it's 80 degrees over in Tampa. And, you know, it's been cold and rainy back here. But I need to get outside and do some – cut my grass for the first time in forever um, and do some yard work and stuff like that. But um, we have to uh, – we got to do a little bit of painting in the house too. So we got, we got a bunch of stuff to do. So I'm excited for it to get warm outside. Was there one item that you made sure that you purchased at the grocery store knowing that you'd be stuck inside for a while? What's your quarantine go-to food? Ooh, I was going to say, before you say that, we got, like, uh, my wife got us, like, eight new board games for board games. And she, we, we're doing a puzzle right now, which I never thought I'd be doing. Um, but quarantine food, <laughs> it's got to be steak. I bought a bunch of steak at Costco and I put it all in the freezer. So I'm going to grill today. So it'll be good. Nice. If you get outside today with your dog, what's your dog's name? I forget. I'm sorry. Uh, Lola. Lola. Has she changed? Has her demeanor changed after she was featured in a full house yeah, video with the rest that. of the Yankees dogs? My, they, my wife was so happy when that came out and uh, most of the guys thought that was awesome. So that was pretty cool. Hopefully Lola's it star, Bigger star than I am now. <laughs> well, hopefully it brought a smile to a lot of people's faces. Well, Luke, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you and your family stay safe during this time. Yeah, you guys too. Everybody stay safe and stay inside, please. Let's get this ready. Get rid of this so we can get back to playing ball again.